Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm super excited about today's video because it's inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, the brown, the beautiful Tierra Walker. So in the southeast we only had two seasons this year, winter and summer summer and winter but for everybody else it's fall right now. I was planning on doing a fall makeup look but the other day I was on YouTube and of course I was watching one of Tierra's videos like usual and I saw that she did this beautiful fall look so I was like why don't I just recreate that one. One of the main things that really drew me to this recreating this video was the fact that she used the Morph 350 palette which of course y'all know is my favorite palette but I really enjoyed recreating this look and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. If you haven't already please make sure that you hit that subscribe button below. Just go ahead and take those two seconds and hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down, you know, whatever you're feeling. Just either way, make sure that you rate this video and also make sure you comment whatever you liked or didn't like in the comments down below. But if you want to see how I created or recreated this beautiful fall look, just keep on watching. Ooh, look at me being crusty. So... Y'all know me, then y'all know that I never do my eyebrows first, but I decided to give it a try today because that's how Tierra starts off her makeup. So today I'll be stepping way out of my comfort zone and starting with my eyebrows and my eye makeup first. And right here I'll just be going in with my Essence Strobing Highlighting Eyeshadow Base to prime my lid. And the more that I start to use this base, I realize how blendable it is and it's not just a white eyeshadow base like I was expecting. So then I move in with my uh, Makeup Revolution Concealer. And now for the best part, I'll be going in with my Morph 350 palette and I'll be using this burnt orange shade in my crease. Another reason why I love Tierra Walker so much is because she called this palette by its actual name in her video, which is 35O. This palette has to be titled 35O because the other palette that I have is the 35B palette. So I always call it 350 just so everybody would know what I'm talking about, but I just thought it was dope that she knew the actual name of the palette. And here I'm going in with that cool brown tone right under the burnt orange shade and I'll just be blending that under the burnt orange kind of as a layering effect. And to finish off the eye look, I'll be blending this last brown shade right under the other one as a layering effect. I loved how Tiara did this and left like a little pop of the concealer right there at the bottom. So it's an ombre effect because the best thing about fall is how all the colors blend together. So I thought that it was cute how she included that in this makeup look. And here I am just moisturizing and putting on my primer. Um, this is also another reason why I don't do my eye makeup and eyebrows first because with this being done, just the rest of your face just looks so dusty. Like, I don't know, like maybe it's just a me thing, but I really just, I don't know, I just can't. <laughs> But I thought it was important to include this part because my skin has been looking pretty rough recently. And one thing that kind of defers me sometimes is like how every makeup artist just seems like they have like perfect skin. So I just want to show you guys like not all of the not all of us just have, you know, perfect skin and like, you know, glowing features. But anyways, moving on to my foundation, I'll be using my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 370 and I'll just be buffing this all over my face with a brush. Uh, Tierra uses a beauty blender and I still haven't gotten down with the beauty blenders. I just, I don't know, like they're too hard to clean first of all. And then I don't know, like I don't really, I haven't really seen much of a difference when I use one, but let me know like in the comments down below if you guys just see like an amazing difference when you use a beauty blender versus a brush because my brushes do me just fine. <laughs> Next I'll be going in with my NYX HD concealer in the shade Deep Rich to Cream Contour. This is another step that I usually tend to skip because I tend to buy foundations that are like a shade darker than me. So whenever I conceal, I already look pretty con contoured, but I do like the extra depth that this gave me. And for my concealer today, I'll be using my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C11. This is my favorite concealer simply because they have a shade that matches my skin tone perfectly. I go back and forth between C11 and C12, but overall these match my skin tone so well that whenever I just want to look put together, I'll just dab like a little bit of this concealer under my eyes and it matches my skin tone perfectly. So I guess you can say that this is definitely one of my staple items. If you don't have a concealer that matches your skin tone, I highly suggest trying to find one. I know it's not, you know, easy for everyone, but if you are able to find one, I suggest going ahead and scooping it because you'd be surprised how far a little bit of concealer and mascara goes. And right here, you'll see me trying to be cute like my favorite beauty gurus and quickly realizing that I'm getting powder on a very expensive camera. But of course, for my setting powder, I'll be mixing my favorite combo, which is the Makeup Revolution powders in the shade Banana and Terracotta. Tierra also uses this powder in the shade Banana, which I thought was pretty cool. But I'll just be setting my face with a brush before coming back in and baking. And this kind of shows me another reason why I don't do my eyebrows and eye makeup first. Firstly, because I feel like it's kind of hard to bake in between my eyebrows um, without messing them up, which is actually like a really big oily spot for me. And also, since I went ahead and did my eyebrows and my eye makeup, um, I really only let my bake sit for like 
10 minutes and then I brushed it off. But you guys know that I have super duper oily skin. And so I'm really more of a bake for 30 minutes type of girl. So that's why I usually just go ahead and bake my face first and then I'll just let it sit while I do my eyebrows and eye makeup. And now I'm just going in and contouring and of course I'm using my black radiance palette in the shade medium to dark. I didn't think that there was any need in showing that to you guys because y'all already know. <laughs> I am glad that Tiara hit me to this next step though, which is setting my makeup at this point. I've never really been a makeup setting spray person because I've tried several and they all tend to really pronounce my smile lines, which I hate. But this morph setting spray is such a light mist that it doesn't settle that deeply into your makeup, which I really like. And also it smells really good. And now I'll be going in with what I consider to be a holy grail of highlighters, which is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in the shade addiction next i'll be using that burnt orange shade from earlier and i'll be using that to blend all over my bottom lid i kind of got a little bit crazy with the blending and it turned out into like this winged out effect but um i liked it so i just left it how it was now I'll just be adding a dab of blush and this is the nyx mosaic powder in the shade love And now I'll just be adding a thin wings liner. I don't think that Tiara added eyeliner to her look, but I'll be adding some pretty um, dramatic lashes. So I just wanna make sure that my eyes don't look top heavy. Next, I'll just be using some mascara to coat my lashes. Okay, y'all. So this is me trying something new and absolutely hating it. So I always use the Benefit Cosmetics Lash Glue and I recently ran out and my mom asked me, you know, like, what brand do you use? And I told her. So she picked me up some, also some Benefit Lash Glue, but this is the Benefit Cosmetics Invisible Lash Glue, which I think is ironic because it's 100% not invisible. The other one goes on as a clear coat, which I really like. And this one goes on as white. You can tell that it's turning blue, which I guess is it's trying to you know become invisible or maybe like it's some type of color change i don't know but this did not work for me but i just thought that this was so funny <laughs> now i'm going in and applying some gel liner to my lower lash line and i don't know who needs to hear this but liquid liner does not go on your bottom lash line like you'd be surprised how many people i've seen do that next i'll be using that same highlighter from earlier and i'll be using this to highlight the corners of my eyes my brow bone and the bridge of my nose For lipstick, Tiara used Limbo from ColourPop, which is kind of like a burgundy brown type of lipstick. Um, I always loved that shade, but never actually bought it. So today for lipstick, I'll be using my Pitch um, Lippy from ColourPop, which is a dark brown. And then I'll be going over that with LAX, which is also from ColourPop. Um, and it's more of like a burgundy shade to kind of recreate this look. But that's all for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll see you guys next time.